All right, all you wonderful people. Let me ask you something. Have you ever been in a place so dark that you couldn't even see your hand in front of your face? Spooky, right? But <clears throat> think about this. What if life sometimes feels like that too? Lost in darkness and all you need is one small light to guide you. Let's talk about what that light means for us today. So today we're talking about walking in the light. Now, what does that even mean? Is it just something that Christians say or is it something deeper? Spoiler alert, it's way deeper. Light in the Bible is a big deal. It's about truth. It's about clarity. It's about God showing up in our lives. And Jesus, he's all about that light. So to kick things off, we're diving into two passages that help us get the full picture of what it means to follow the light of the world. Let's go straight to the source. Grab your Bible or open your Bible app and let's hit John 7, 12, and 13, and then John 8, 12. I'm reading from the NLT version, so let's go. There was a lot of grumbling about him among the crowds. Some argued, he's a good man, but others said, he's nothing but a fraud who deceives the people. But no one had the courage to speak favorably about him in public for they were afraid of getting in trouble with the Jewish leaders. Jesus spoke to the people once more and said, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. Okay, let's break this down. The crowd is buzzing about Jesus. Some people think he's awesome. Other thinks he's straight up fake news. And then Jesus drops this massive statement. I am the light of the world. Whoa, like mic drop moment, right? But what does that even mean? Here's where it gets real. Life can feel like a lot of confusion, especially with all the voices around us, friends, social media, culture, all trying to tell us what's up. It's easy to feel lost, like we're wandering in the dark, trying to figure things out on our own. We all have those moments where we're not sure what's right, what's true, or even what's next. That's where Jesus steps in with this huge promise. Follow me and you won't have to walk in darkness anymore. So the challenge is, how do we take that promise and make it real in our lives? How do we start following this light Jesus is talking about? Let's talk about light for a second. In every culture, light has always been a symbol of something good, hope, truth, wisdom. It's like when you turn on a flashlight in a dark room, suddenly everything makes sense, right? That's how Jesus works in our lives. When he calls himself the light of the world, he's saying, hey, I'm the truth you've been looking for. I'm the one who will guide you out of your confusion and into real life. Think about it this way. Light exposes what's hidden. It shows us what's real, and when we're living in darkness, it's easy to be scared or confused. But Jesus doesn't just offer us any light. He offers us the light that leads to life. This isn't just about making better choices. It's about letting Jesus illuminate the way we see everything, our friendships, our future, and our identity. And let me tell you, Following Jesus doesn't mean everything magically becomes easy. But it does mean that when you're following the light, you're no longer stumbling around, guessing your way through life. 
Jesus becomes your guide, your GPS, and trust me, that changes everything. Let me hit you with a real story. There was this guy I knew who felt completely lost. He was doing all the right things, getting good grades, being a decent person, but inside, he felt like he was wandering in the dark. He kept trying to find his way on his own, but it never worked. One night, he decided to give Jesus a shot. He prayed, asking for help, asking for light. And over time, because it doesn't happen overnight, things started to change. He didn't magically get all the answers, but he did start to see the path more clearly. Jesus showed him where to go, what to focus on, and even helped him let go of some fears that were holding him back. That's the power of walking in the light. Jesus doesn't just show you the way, He is the way. And when you trust Him to be your light, you'll start to notice that darkness can't hold you back anymore. So here's what we're walking away with today. Jesus is the light of the world, and following Him means living in truth, clarity, and purpose. It's about letting His teachings guide our choices and our lives. It's about knowing that we don't have to do this alone. We've got the best guide ever leading us every step of the way. All right, here's your challenge. Take a moment this week and think about where you need light in your life. And there are areas where you may be feeling lost or unsure. Ask Jesus to guide you through it. And hey, if you've experienced that light in your own life, drop a comment below and share your story. Someone else might need to hear it. And don't forget, there's more where this came from. So smash that like button, hit the subscribe, and keep the light shining. Until next time, God bless.